This amplifier is so crunchy and tight. Of course, I'm talking about the Mesa Boogie Mark V 35. And I think I finally cracked the code to getting a great tone out of this amplifier. Because I must admit that I've kind of had a love-hate relationship with this amplifier. Well, not hate, but I did have some frustration when dialing in tones on this amplifier from time to time. Because of the way that the tone stack affects the tone and also the graphical EQ, there's a little bit of a learning curve to this amplifier. But yeah, I think I got some really brutal tones out of it. So today we're going to check out this amplifier and also talk about how I managed to capture the essence of this amplifier into the quad cortex. First, let's take a listen to a little clip of this beast through my Angle XXL 4x12 cabinet. Take a listen. That was pretty brutal, right? Pretty tight and aggressive. I thought that sounded wonderful. So that was my ESP LTD Phoenix Arctic Metal with the EMG81 in the bridge through this amplifier on channel two with the extreme mode. And of course the graphical EQ was enabled as well with a nice V going on for some nice scoopage in the mids because this amplifier has a lot of mids. So for heavy music, you really have to scoop some of those mids out. And the extreme mode on this amplifier is the mode with the sort of biggest bottom end. So that's one of my favorite modes on this amplifier. The amp went straight into the cabinet. It was mic'd up with an SM57 and went to my interface, which was the Quad Cortex by Neural DSP. So yeah, interesting amplifier. The little brother to this amplifier, the Mark 525, which I've never tried, is basically the same, but it doesn't have the solo boost functions and it has smaller transformers. This one obviously is 35 watts, so this one has four EL84s in it, as opposed to the two EL84s. But I'd love to try the little one as well, because it looks so cute. Imagine having all that functionality in such a small head. I'd love to get my hands on one one day. Anyway, so this is the 35, and uh, I guess it's one of the more simple Mesa Boogie Mark amplifiers, but there's still a lot in this amplifier. In terms of the channels, we have two channels, but each channel has three modes, which is great. So channel one does your clean and crunch tones. It has a clean mode. It has a fat mode, which is a more fat clean, and then the crunch mode. So there's a lot of versatility in that channel alone. Nice sparkly cleans, some nice broken up cleans, some fat crunch tones, and some tight crunch tones as well. So you can kind of choose the tone that you want for this channel and then leave the high gain stuff up to channel two, which has the 2C plus mode, which is an interesting mode on this amplifier. It sounds quite tight and it has way less bottom end on tap than the extreme mode, for example. So yeah, it kind of depends on the cabinet you're using, the guitar that you're using, the sound that you're looking for. Sometimes I get really good tones out of this channel. Other times I just want a little bit more and then either the Mark IV mode, which is, which is the second mode, uh, or the extreme mode does the job, right? So yeah, the Mark IV mode just has a bit more saturation and more harmonics going on, a little bit more bottom end too. And then as I said, the extreme mode is just boom. It's like the most huge Mark tone that I've ever heard basically, especially coming out of this amplifier. So yeah, again, that's my favorite. And uh, the way that you dial this amp in is always pretty interesting. Crank the treble, obviously, for clarity, but also to boost the gain. 
And then when you do that, the mid and bass controls are way more subtle. They basically affect the feel of the amplifier. So when you raise the bass, the feel gets a little bit more loose and fat, but it's not like you're really adding a lot of low frequencies to the EQ spectrum. All of that is basically done with the graphical EQ. So that's a cool and very typical and signature addition to this amplifier. Anyway, so it has the EL84s and some people are like, yeah, EL84s can't do the chunk chunks, but they definitely can, especially when you've got four of them on the amplifier. And you just gotta make sure that you don't raise the master volume too high, but honestly, this thing is stupid loud. Because I was playing it through this cabinet in the room today, also for making my captures and stuff. And yeah, there's a lot of volume on tap, that's for sure. So. I've really come to appreciate and like this amplifier a lot, especially now that I got to know it a little bit better. I really know how to dial it in now. So that's really cool and it has me very excited about this amplifier. I love this thing so much. So yeah, obviously I had to capture this amplifier into my quad cortex to make a capture pack for you guys and also for myself just to be able to play all the tones of this amplifier on my quad cortex, which is awesome. And that pack is called the Toit 5. So again, as with my other capture packs, which are all available on my web store, by the way, I made 12 captures of the amplifier through my real cabinet, which is the Engel 4x12XXL cabinet with the V30s. then again, I also made 12 captures with a load box, so direct, so you can use it with your own IRs or the stock cabinets. Now, I made those captures with an IR in mind from ML Sound Lab, which is one of my favorite IRs at this moment, and that's the ML Mega Oversize Almighty IR. And that's an amazing sounding IR that I really like with this amplifier, so I recommend using that IR with the direct models. But of course, you're free to also use your own IRs or the stock cabinets. Anyway, let's take a listen to a couple of the captures and see how they turned out. Take a listen. That sounded awesome, so crunchy. And those were basically the same settings as you heard before, or approximately the same settings as the clip through the with the real amplifier through the cabinet. So for the 12 captures, what I basically did was make two captures for each mode. Since there are six modes on this amplifier, it was a perfect fit. And for all the channel two ones, I did a rhythm one and a lead one. So the lead one will have more mids, and a bit more gain and a bit more bass and mids dialed in as well. So it's a little bit of a warmer tone, but you can also still use it for rhythm if you like. So all the number one captures for the channel two sounds are the rhythm tones and all the number two tones are the lead tones. And as per usual, I put all the captures into two presets. So there's one preset for the XXL files and another preset for all the direct files with a stock cabinet loaded in just for ease of use. And then if you buy the pack, you get those two presets and then you can scroll through the scenes to try some of my favorite 
captures in that pack just to get you started. But of course you can use all 24 tone models however you please. So now what I'm gonna do is grab my LTD EC1000 T CTM in vintage gold satin with the Will Adler pickups in it and just play a couple chords, play a couple simple riffs so you guys can hear what sort of tones are included in this pack. Take a listen. <laughs> So there's a very nice variety of tones in there. Sparkly cleans, of course, some uh, sort of edge of breakup tones, crunch tones, and three shades of high gain. So the 2C plus mode, the Mark IV mode, and the extreme mode. So, so that's a very nice variety, to be honest. And again, I was really impressed at how good the tones came out with this pack. So yeah, this is probably one of my favorites right now. Anyway, I'm battling on for way too long. But I hope you enjoyed all the tones that I conjured out of this amplifier and out of the captures from the Quad Cortex. As I said, you can check out that capture pack for yourself in my web store. I'll put a link below. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook and Instagram, of course. And please drop a like and subscribe down below. That really helps the channel out. I'd usually appreciate that. And let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the Mark 535 and the Mark 525. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.